Being a veteran of one war certainly is worth noting. Two wars, well, that's an honor that's setting you apart. Floyd Brantley answered this nation's call, in fact, three times in two different branches of the military, securing him as an Arkansas treasure and an Arkansas hero. Floyd Brantley's 98-year-old smile is as wide and as bright as it was 97 years ago. Today, he could pass off as any other man, enjoying a long life. But the ribbons on his chest suggest otherwise. His life reads like a book. It begins as a child of the Depression. Life was a challenge early on. Work on milk truck in the morning before I went to school. And Not because he wanted to. His father left the family to fend for themselves, so he had to. His brother joined the Navy. And soon the reality of war came to the Brantley home. He was killed in the Navy on the USS Atlanta. In no time, his mother's only surviving son, who she wanted to finish school, got a letter. He broke the news. I told my mother, I said, Mother, I've got to go to war. And when my brother was killed, I felt like I had to go and replace him. There was no question, no matter his fate. Did you volunteer for something or else you drafted? But anyway, you feel. Um, that you're doing something for the American and you may get killed. That was made perfectly clear to Floyd and his 5,000 shipmates by their commander on their way to the South Pacific where his brother had been killed. Some of you will not come back. Some of you will be wounded. So we want you to know this ahead of time. You have no choice. There were examples of both in no time. Suffering of the young man. As a corpsman assigned to the 1st Marine Division, combat was no stranger. As we do what we call a push, we knew ahead of time that they're getting ready to go to the side van for, and we better be ready because we're going to get a lot of cash. He did what he could to help. In one case, I he said, Corman, I need a shot. I, my leg is killing me. And I'd say, sorry, you don't have a leg. But in the hell that is war, he saw light as well. Helping a young Polynesian boy injured alongside Marines, he asked, Are you a Christian? Yes, yes. I said, who told you about Christ? Missionary, Pepitian missionary, dated Japanese. Ooh, they ran them all, killed some. And the young boy asked him to sing a song. Amazing Grace. So he and I started singing Amazing Grace. And all these soldiers there just stopped talking. They couldn't understand where this was coming from. He survived World War II unscathed, except for a broken elbow he got playing football. That got him a ride home on a hospital ship and a little ribbing. How did you get hurt? Well, I shot here and so forth. What about you? Well, about the only one on there that, well, I'm playing football. What? <laughs> that war was over for him, but then came Korea, and Floyd was back in, this time in the Air Force. He became a loadmaster in that theater of war, and then when that war was over, he eventually graduated from Baylor University, getting the degree his mother always wanted him to have. And then Vietnam became an issue. That's when I went back in, in Air Guard, but I, at the age I knew they wouldn't send me back home to Vietnam. No, he stayed home, an Arkansas hero. He retired Captain Brantley, and now at 98 years old, he remains active in supporting our men and women in military. Certainly a true Arkansas treasure. Happy Veterans Day, Mr. Brantley.